This filter problem seems like a real pain, but today in this video, I have a solution. So make sure to watch and let's get started. Now, if you look at this data here, I have these blank rows within the data. And whenever this structure of data you have or any Excel user have, it's really hard to filter that data because the continuity of the data is broken. Now, to solve this problem, we have a few solutions, very easy solutions. So the first solution is to convert this entire data into an Excel table. So when I press Control and then press T, it allows me to apply Excel table to this data. And now I can filter this data without any problem. Even I can just filter out the blank rows and delete these rows. And my data is pretty much clean and continue. And if you don't want to apply Excel table, there's one more solution. And that's selecting this data again from first to last cell. Press the keyboard shortcut control G. Click on special, click on blanks and OK. And then press and hold the control key and press minus sign from the keyboard, entire row and hit OK. And all the rows, all the blank rows are now deleted and you can filter your data in a very easy way. The third method, which is also very quick, is to just create a helper column here. Enter one and drag that value one up to the last cell of the data and then apply the filters and now you can see you can filter your data and you can filter your blank rows and simply delete the blank rows and then the helper column so your data is ready to use and if you want to have a real time solution to this problem where you know that you will get this kind of data in coming days so you can use Power Query for that. So once you convert your data into an Excel table, just right click on it and load the data into the Power Query editor. So I'm going to right click and then go to get data from table and range and it will load my data into the Power Query editor. And here the first thing I need to do here is to convert my dates into only dates because when you load your data into the Power Query editor, it converts your date into date and time. So I'm just going to go to my transform tab and then click on date only and now the final thing is to unselect the blank values that is this bracket null and i'm gonna untick and click ok and my data is ready i'll go back home tab and then click close and load and my clean data is ready now if i try to copy a new data to my original table let's say for further dates again i have blank rows so i'm going to go back to my table that i have just loaded from the power query editor i'm just going to refresh and you can see i have got the updated data but without blank rows do you have any method or trick that you use to deal with this kind of data while working in excel so make sure to share your trick or method with me in the comment section and I'll see you in the next video.